Hello, this is Victor from Victor EDA. I'm the creator of EDA Playground. This is, an, this is an introduction to EDA Playground covering some of the basic features of the web application. First of all, when you log in, um, when you go to the website, you will see that you're not logged in. And uh, some basic things you can do is you can look around at the existing code that's over there. Uh, you can see the code and some of the examples have uh, simulation results. Now in order to uh, run simulations or save our code we will need to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in using my Google account. And here we go, I'm logged in. Um, now here's uh, the basic functionality for uh, saving code. I can go to a fresh, uh, fresh EDA playground. As you can see there's two windows here for editing code. Uh, the right one's intended for your design, and the left one is intended for your test bench. Um, now, if uh, all of your code is just test bench code, all of it is uh, design code, you may use both of these windows. Uh, the difference is that the right one gets compiled first, followed by the left one. Okay, so let me do a simple code example. Let's do a module test, and all it's going to do is it's going to display something to the screen. Hi YouTube. And my end statement and module. And here's my simple code. Now at this point I can run it. Uh, on the left side I may select a simulator that I want to use. In this case um, let's use uh, Icarus Verilog um, 0.9.6 now I click the run button and the code runs on the server and the results are printed over here in the results pane in real time and as you can see the results are here um, now what I can do is go to the details page and I can type in the name of my code of my playground let's call it hi YouTube I can um, type a simple example uh, description of, of what this example is about. Let's just say it's an example of display. And then I can click Save and the code is saved in the database. And as you can see up here the URL changed and this is now a link that you can send to uh, other people. And they can open up this page and it'll look exactly the same including the code as well as the results. Uh, another helpful point is clicking the share button. As you can see, this link is over here, and also there's a, a couple links uh, to share on the social sites. So that, just to demonstrate, you know, I can save this link. I can go somewhere else. Then I can go type that link back in. I can open it up in, in a different tab. As you can see, uh, the codes the codes back there, still back there. Okay, um, now another powerful feature of EDA Playground is opening up waves after the run is complete. So let me go to an example. I'm going to go to a, a RAM example. This is a random access memory. And on the right you see the design. On the left you see a very simple test which just reads some data, uh, reads some data and then writes, writes new data. Now the critical thing for opening waves is you do need to create a wave dump which is a, a a VCD file. It ends with the extension VCD. And um, as you can see here, the, the dump, dump file is created. Now, in order to actually view waves, there's uh, all you have to do is um, click check this checkbox and make sure you have the dump file and dump bars in your file. And uh, let's run this and see what happens. And going back on this page, you can see that in the results, uh, you know, the results are typed out. Typed out. It was finding a VCD file, and then it opened EP Waves in a different window. And uh, this is the waves. As you can see, the signals over here, they match um, the regs that were defined. Um, and this is a, just a basic uh, waveform viewer where you can click. Um, and it'll set your marker and on the left column you see um, the values that are there. You can zoom in 
you can uh, scroll around you can jump back to the marker the marker is at 10 seconds here so we jump back here 100% um, zoom you can also change radixes from hex to binary so you can see all the bits and if if this is um, this is not enough you can see you can mouse over and you can see the whole result over here okay um, let's go back to uh, EDA playground and uh, let's go over some of the options on the left over here so the basic option is to have both of your design and your test bench is in Verilog but there's a couple other uh, libraries and, and methodologies that are supported uh, first of all let's, let's cover the methodologies and libraries for Verilog and System Verilog uh, we do have UVM and OVM here these are to be used with System Verilog only uh, currently EDA Playground only supports uh, running limited System Verilog features uh, but it does support compiling compiling System Verilog without running and without waves um, there are some additional libraries you can choose um, there's an OVL library which is a Verilog library and which is available uh, there's an example of a simple uh, OVL never assert that you may choose to run as you can see here's an, here's an assert that fires uh, another library is SVUnit. This is a system Verilog library, so um, you can only compile it at this point on EDA Playground. Uh, besides Verilog, we can we also have uh, some Python libraries. Um, Python plus Verilog is is a uses currently uh, we have CocoTB on here, which is a library that uses Python for the test bench. Let me bring up a, a Python. CocoTB test bench over here. On the right you still have your design uh, very similar to what we had before but on the left the test bench now is written in in Python and you can see the results are also a bit different here. Uh, we can we can run it um, and the results for CocoTB actually uh, have a little color in them so it's a little easier to see. Um, besides uh, CocoTB uh, we, we also have MyHDL let me bring up an example here. Um, my HDL um, is completely in Python, so both your design and your test bench are written in Python. Okay, um, let's go to some of the options. Now, if we go back, um, we see that we have some compile and run options. So let me demonstrate uh, a compile option. I can go back to the uh, to high YouTube that I created by going back to my user page and what we're gonna do is instead of saying hi YouTube here we're going to use a macro uh, let's, um, basically it's a define let's say my define and what we can do is we can actually set this as a compile option uh, using the syntax for Icarus Verilog so um, define has to precede the dash d so I'm gonna say my uh, define here equals uh, and I'll just say my define why not just so it's different than before and I've set my I'm not sure if I'm allowed to spaces here let's just try it like this I set it like this and uh, let me run see if it works see it worked so my define down here and it printed it out and that option was received from the command line uh, also you will notice that before you just had a save button now you have update and copy buttons so if I click update it'll update the existing the existing playground that I have and override the previous one uh, as, as you recall before I had high YouTube up here so let me click update and now it's been updated so if I open this in a new window you see you don't see my uh, you don't see high YouTube anymore you just see the defined here and all the options are saved uh, the other thing is the copy button when you click copy it'll create a new playground it'll, it'll copy the existing code that's on the screen here and it'll create a new playground um, so let me try copy. 
Uh, let's click copy. Now you see um, the path over here changed, so this is a new playground now. So we still have the old one, my define, and now we have the new one. Let me reload the screen so you see. Uh, so this is the copy, and this is the original, and they're both saved in the database, so you can go ahead and make a copy of a copy, etc. Now if, now if you need additional help for some of these libraries or for EDA Playground, um, the About button takes you to the EDA Playground documentation. And one of the things you can view here is, uh, for example, you can view uh, the links to the documentation for the libraries and methodologies that we covered, um, as well as um, a few other things like descriptions of the buttons. Um, there's a code example on here, uh, frequently asked questions. Um, in order to get support, if something's not working or if you have questions, um, support is available uh, using Twitter or using the uh, issues on GitHub.